so you want to make your very own Pokemon logo? Well, you got to catch them all, so you might as well start here. Hey guys, I'm Matt by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back <laughs> once again, taking a look at how to make a Pokemon logo for yourself. Um, so we're in Inkscape today, because I love making Inkscape videos. We need to do more of these. I really enjoy these kind of tutorials. So we're back, and I have a canvas here. We're going to go ahead and grab the text tool, which is over on the left-hand side here. I'm going to drag a box open, and we're going to just type the first letter of whatever you want to type. So if you want to type your name, maybe your name's Justin, you type a J. You know, I'm going to type Tuts by Kai, so we're going to type a capital T. I'm going to zoom in here by holding down Control and scrolling my mouse wheel. Um, but you can see I can just go in right there. We type the T. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Um, that rhymed. Wow. Cool. I'm like Dr. Seuss. Um, we're going to select this T by just click, you know, dragging over it, of course. And then we're going to select our font. And the font that I'm going to use today is actually called Pokemon Solid. It's right here. Uh, I'll leave the link down in the description. You can just search it up, up on uh, defont.com, by the way. Um, either way it, rather so that's uh, that's the t right there looks good looks nice you love to see it i'm gonna go to the mouse tool here and i'm just gonna go ahead and hold down control and then we're just gonna scale this bad boy up just a little bit like that so we can see a little bit easier what we're doing now we're gonna do uh the same thing but we're gonna make sure all of the other letters are now on the canvas so right click duplicate we're gonna move this over and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the text tool and then just change this from a T to a U, of course. And then we're gonna just move it where I want it to go. We're just gonna get all of these letters down, right click, duplicate, move it over, use the text tool. And all of these definitely need to be separate because we're gonna rotate them and do all kinds of weird things to them. Um, and now, of course, depending on what your word is, you're going to wanna move them in different areas. Like if I have. Um, uh, uh, an, an S here. I'm not gonna like leave it here. I'm probably gonna put it uh, We'll probably actually rotate this one. So I will leave this right here. I'm not gonna rotate anything yet That's a different step. We're gonna just get all the letters down just so we have them all uh, Ready to go of course, so I'll be back once I have all of my letters ready and set to go All right, so touch by Kai there you go It's all the letters that we need and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and, and, and rotate these around a little bit because the, the Pokemon logo does have a lot of rotated letters um, just to kind of make things fit together better so that's what I'm gonna do here you can see I'm just kind of pushing some things in some directions here um, and I just want these to fit nicely together so that's what we're doing right now just gonna rotate these um, just by clicking them so if you click if you click a letter I'm sorry I forgot to say that if you click a letter you see you got the regular scale right if you hold down control it will not deform like this hold down control so it won't do that um, but if you tap it again you can see it changes to little rotate pieces and click it again it'll go back well I'll click it again it'll go back to the scale so click it until it has a little rotate things and then you can rotate them the way that you want to so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and rotate these and move them all around the way that I want to because the Pokemon logo is kind of uh, kind of all over the place not too crazy but I, I'll definitely take a little bit of liberties here as you can see there we go that looks pretty decent I don't like the way this Y is looking so I'm actually scale that down move it inwards a little bit maybe rotate it up again um, that Y is quite rotated at this point but listen hey I do what I want to do all right it's a logo it's a Pokemon logo you know it looks it looks like Pokemon all right and we're gonna rotate this B as well Make the Y fit in there a little bit better, and then move the K, A, and I over. There we go. You dang love to see it. All right. So I'm going to select all of these by dragging a box over top of everything, and then just tapping, clicking uh, on them, and then rotating the whole thing so it's a little more straight, like a cross like that. You love to see it. There you go. Looks good. I like it. Looks nice. Um, now, of course, the inside of the letters is yellow, and then we have a secondary uh, layer, which is, of course, blue. So I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to make this a nice yellow color. Um, the yellow color, something about right here. I'm actually going to pull up a, an image of uh, the Pokemon logo, and then we'll just eyedrop the colors straight from it. All right, so as you can see, we have this Pokemon logo in here, and something else I want to do really quickly, I, I forgot, I want to arch these, because as you can see, the Pokemon logo is definitely arched upwards, and then it goes down like this, so I definitely want to make sure that I capture that as well, make the T a little bit bigger, and we'll rotate that over. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to see. All right, cool. Nice. So we'll do something like that. So it's 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 slightly arched now, as you can see. Now, I do want one or two of these to kind of overlap like this and the eye as well. Maybe um, we'll have the eye overlap slightly. Or maybe we won't. We'll leave the, we'll leave the eye alone, actually. I, want, I think I want the U to overlap. So we'll grab this U right here, pull it in close, pull the T down. 
pull this T up and then grab this U. There we go. All right, cool. So that is uh, the final like uh, position, I suppose, as it were, for them. We're going to go ahead and actually do a uh, lot with this color here. We're going to go ahead and grab all of these by holding down Shift. And then you can hit the eyedrop uh, tool down here. And just eyedrop that yellow. Beautiful yellow, by the way. I love this yellow. It's gorgeous. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and I want to move the Kai over because I think the Y is the Y. This Y area looks weird to me still. So do like this and then move that over like that. Perfect. You love to see it. Um, maybe rotate that a little bit more. I don't like the way the Y is coming across. It just looks strange right there in that section. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and continue. Now I want to let's just move all this down so we have a little bit of space to work with here. Um, there we go. I'm going to rotate this again like that. Perfect. Now, um, I want to duplicate all of these just, just in case we mess something up. So I'm going to select them all, duplicate, move them over here, just out of the way. Don't even worry about those. Just a duplicate back up just in case we accidentally mess something up. Now, I'm going to select all these and we're going to right click, duplicate again. And what I want to do this time is I want to go ahead and add fill stroke. And we're going to go to this little uh, piece right here, which is flat color. And then we're going to make this the blue color. So I drop this blue color right there. And there we go. Now, I want to move this underneath everything. I only want the blue to show. So we're going to hit this little button down here, which is lower selection to bottom, which is end. So there we go. Now we have that, which looks really nice. I enjoy that quite a bit. Um, but I want to make the stroke styles thicker. So I'm going to change the width to one, maybe 20. Uh, wait, 120. And I have broken it. Wait, pause. <laughs> What, what's happened here? There we go. All right, so make sure we have all those selected again, which is going to be a pain. So we'll just undo until we have all of them selected. I don't know what happened there. That's a little strange. All right, so if I change if I change this value, it just goes away entirely. Okay, so it's on millimeters. That's why. It just changed from millimeters to pixels. That was very strange. I didn't ask it to do that. That was weird. Anyway, um, let's move it all back down. There we go. Nice. And I'll change the width to maybe 20 millimeters... 30 millimeters uh, 20 looks good I think it's a little 20 is a little thicker than what they actually have up here but I like the way 20 looks so we'll do 20 um, all right nice cool so we'll take this but now you can see some of the uh, blue ush actually overlaps which I really like so we're actually gonna go ahead and pick one of these to overlap I think I'm gonna do the Y um, so we're gonna move the Y up above everything so I'm gonna hold down shift and select the Y here and we're gonna try and see if we can grab that second Y as well was that underneath there right there so you can grab there hold down shift grab that blue there we go and then we can hit uh, this button up here which is move everything to the top and as you can see we have now moved that above everything now I want this to be below the P but above the K so we're gonna move the K down hold on shift grab make sure you grab the blue oh, it's grabbing things I don't want it to grab we're gonna grab the K and this piece as well ah trying to select there you go so we can just select all that and then move this up or actually sorry move it yeah up what I'm saying we move it up by a couple layers so one two three or no I want it to be below yeah there we go so that's what I want I want the Y to be above the K but uh, below the Y still and I don't think any of the other letters really need to for this specific word um, but if you're doing a different word of course it will look different for you obviously so you might want to do something different but um, but yeah so other than that let's go ahead and select everything we'll uh, right click duplicate and then we'll just move um, we'll move actually you know what I'll do undo that I'm sorry I, I take that back we're gonna grab this over here this is where we needed this right click this duplicate and then we're gonna move this over move everything down we're hitting this little button right here and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, just try and oh, it deselected everything. Let's undo that one, one more time. We wanna make sure everything's uh, selected so you can easily grab it. So we'll duplicate, move it all over, and get it about where I want it to be, which is about right there. Put everything to the bottom, and then we'll change the color, which I want to make go to the fill. And I'm gonna make this the same color as the light blue. So when I drop this, put that right there, and then now we have this nice 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 little uh back uh overlay back in the background which is exactly what i like to see so ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed today's tutorial very simple but absolutely awesome i'm actually gonna make a fake little um i forget the name of this i apologize but we're gonna put one of these over top of one of the letters even though it does not need it obviously um it's just a classic kind of pokemon 
thing, even though obviously a bee will not have a carré, I believe it's called. Um, we're just gonna make one like that. It doesn't, obviously bees don't have that, but I'm just gonna make it just in case you have a letter that it would have. Well, I can put it over the A. Yeah, we can do that, we'll put it over the A. All right, cool. Um, we'll fill this, make sure the stroke is the blue color and make sure it is the same value, which I believe was 20? I think it was 20. Um, all right, cool. And then I'll right click, duplicate, get rid of the stroke. And now we have that, which just looks very, very cool. Um, but yes, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. That's that for today. Very simple, very easy Pokemon uh, logo, custom logo tutorial. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.